Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another Trap Code Particular tutorial in After Effects. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this particle animation right here. This is a follow-up to a previous tutorial titled Particle Dance. And since that has received such great feedback, a lot of positive comments and um, good ratings, I thought you guys might enjoy this one as well. So I'm um, not going to waste any time. Let's jump into this and recreate this scene. I am going to start with a new comp, 960 by 540, 24 FPS and duration 5 seconds. And then I will create a new solid, let's call it particles, hit OK. I'm going to go to effect trap code and particular and you get the default white particles spurting out from the center. The first thing we need to do with the particles is to make them animate in a circular motion. So to do this I will first of all get a new light, call it a meter, go to the particles layer I'm going to get the ellipse tool and draw a perfect circle from the center of the frame and hold shift and control to draw a perfect circle uh, going outward in all directions like this. I'm going to go to the mask path, go to edit and copy, go back to the light and press P to bring up the position click on the word position, move to frame 0 and then edit and paste the mask path and uh, as you paste it, it will be converted into a motion path that the light is now animated along. So the next step is to attach our particles onto the light. So if I go to the particle settings, I can go to a emitter and change the emitter type from point to lights and as long as your light is called a meter or at the very least matches whatever this is right here then your particles will attach to the light uh, like this. I am going to remove this mask I don't need it anymore and I'm gonna change this last keyframe to be an easy ease that way at the beginning the light is moving fast and then slows down at the end and uh, by default, uh, anytime you use a mask as a motion path, it will be two seconds long um, between the two keyframes. I am going to leave it at that, but you can adjust it accordingly to however you want. Okay, I'm going to lower the velocity of the particles from 100 to 65, like this just so they don't go out as far. And I am also going to change the emitter size on the X, Y, and Z to 0, 0, and 0. So we have a thinned out uh, start here and then as the particles get older they uh, spread out more and more. Okay, that's looking good. I am now going to go to the AUX system which is uh, the auxiliary particles. Auxiliary means secondary. I am going to go to the emit option and set this to continuously. I'm going to set the particle size to 1 and the particles a second to 250. So now we have uh, this second set of uh, very colorful particles being emitted by our original uh, white particles. I'm gonna just continue customizing this. The life uh, in seconds is defaulted to half a second. I will push this up to two seconds. And I'm also gonna go to the color of a life and change this to the fourth uh, preset gradient which starts off as yellow and ends up as purple. That is the same gradient that I used in the example. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to the main particle settings and change the particles a second from 100 to 250 or maybe even 500 but again you can adjust this accordingly to um, however you want your frame size might be larger so you may need more particles okay I am also gonna set the size of the main particles to zero that way we only see the secondary set of particles and next up I'm gonna go to the physics go to air turbulence field and then affect position by 100 and that's what gives us that sort of swelled effect uh, instead of just straight lines this is uh, looking quite good and uh, we're almost there you'll note that um, after two seconds when the light returns to its original position the particles will continue being um, emitted into the scene but we want to stop that and completely freeze up this whole animation so I am gonna go to the physics once again and we want to animate the physics time factor so if I set a keyframe at two seconds I can move forward one frame using the page down key and then press zero and this is going to freeze up all of the motion in the scene like this so after two seconds everything just freezes up okay um, as far as the main particle look uh, we are done we want to now create a new camera uh, but before we do that just one thing I forgot in the aux system I want to change the transfer mode from normal to add just gonna pops a little more I can create a new camera call it camera 1 and I will create a new null object and call it camera 1 jib let's make uh, the null a parent of our main camera and let's just animate this so I'm gonna press R uh, to bring up the rotation of the null object and I just forgot to make it 3d we want to animate the Y rotation let's go to five seconds and just bump this up uh, you can go in whatever direction you want I'm gonna go to say minus 50 so basically the camera is just going around this like so I'm also gonna go to the camera press B to bring up the position I will set a keyframe at the beginning here go to five seconds and just sort of zoom in uh, a bit like this I'm gonna go back to frame zero and just sort of zoom out a bit more so we have the camera rotating around the particles and slowly zooming in at the same time but this is just uh, uh, me replicating what I did in the example but you, you can of course do whatever type of camera animation that you want to do okay this looks fine I'm gonna go to new solid call this BG and let's go to effect gradient uh, generate and then we want a gradient ramp I'm gonna change the ramp shape to radial set the start color to a sort of dark gray and then the end color to a really dark gray let's move this into the center and pull this out a bit darken this a bit more and uh, also our end color
this looks okay I'm gonna go ahead now and create uh, the secondary set of particles even more particles we have uh, this uh, circular particles and then some even smaller specks dotted around everywhere and for this I first of all need to pre-comp everything here except for my background so I'll call this particles pre and I will create a new solid and call this secondary particles or just particles 0 2 go to effect trap code and particular I'm gonna go to the emitter and set the emitter type from point to layer and in the layer emitter control we want to set this to be um, our main particles so particles pre and it's gonna tell me that the layer needs to be 3d so I'm just gonna put the 3d switch on set this to none and then set it to that layer again just to reset uh, the link between the two and now you see we have some particles appearing and their color is based on the first set of particles that we created I'm gonna change a few settings here the emitter size Z I will make this 500 so that we spread out the particles more in Z space the velocity I'm just gonna leave that uh, to the default but I will change the particles a second to maybe 500 so we have a lot more I'm gonna go to the particle settings and set the size to 10 and the feather I will set this to 0 and I think 10 is probably too big let's try 7 and lowering the number of particles to just 250 or so and uh, this looks okay uh, I think this is a sort of too far away um, from the rest so I'm gonna maybe lower the velocity to about 50 or so and uh, maybe lower the number of particles even more so maybe just 200 and then I will go to opacity of a life and here we can choose from a few preset graphs I'm gonna choose the last one right here where as the particles start to fade out they will flicker uh, on and off quite a lot and it kind of creates like a sparkling effect I can also come in here and just use my mouse to make even more cuts in here uh, which represent you know a timeline when the particles will start to flicker uh, as they die out that looks okay and then I will duplicate this layer and change the number of particles to 5000 and set the size to just one and the velocity I will set this to zero so now we have a third set of particles some really small ones which um, uh, sparkle as well I would change the random seed to just something different so we don't get any of the small particles overlaying the larger ones I will set both of these layers to an add blending mode and um, maybe just one more thing the way these particles appear they're just gonna pop into existence I want to fade them in so if I go to the size of a life I can choose one of the preset graphs let's say the fifth one right here and then I'll flip it and then just draw on some more red at the beginning like this and let's smooth this I am going to copy this go to particle uh, the second layer go to the size of a life and paste the same graph so now they sort of fade in um, by expanding uh, from nothing into 
small samples, and then uh, the rest of this history. Okay, so as far as the particles done, we are finished. Let's just uh, apply some glow and uh, some simple color correction. So I will get an adjustment layer, go to effect, stylize, uh, and glow. Before I do this, I am going to switch to, okay, I am already in 32 bits per channel. Um, whatever you use glows, uh, try and go into either 16 bit or 32 bit. It always looks a lot better. Okay, I'm going to set the radius to something like 100 or so. And uh, the threshold, I can uh, higher this and maybe lower the intensity. So I get this kind of look. Maybe bump up the radius. That looks okay. And I'm going to get a new adjustment layer for some color correction. I will get some curves. Go to the red and just uh, pull this down a small amount. Uh, push up the highlights and then go to green. Uh, let's say we want some green in the highlights but not so much in the shadows and then go to the blue and here we want some in the highlights. Um, in fact no we don't want as much in the highlights but some in the in the shadows. So it's kind of like the reverse S curve like this. Uh, the green is the S curve and the red is also the S curve. This again is just replicating what I did in the example but it's entirely up to you what kind of look you prefer. Uh, you may want to readjust your glows after adding some color correction which uh, boosted up our contrast quite a bit. And uh, this is my final look. So that's it. That is how you create um, the particle dance zero to uh, animation. This was uh, actually requested by uh, quite a few people because in the first tutorial um, I showed a preview of an animation which I had been working on and of course that tutorial was only for the first uh, animation in that whole project and uh, this animation we've just created was one of the animations that was seen uh, in that video and uh, quite a few people wanted to know how to do this one also. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. This is Don and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.